Yo, what's going on, Unoverse? And today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this mini game called Bomberman. You guys probably know Bomberman. I used to play it on the PlayStation One back in the day, and it's like a cool arcade game that you can play. And if you don't know what it is, I'll try to explain it here. Basically, it's a maze filled with dirt walls, and you have to blow up the dirt walls with TNT. And if you back up far enough, the TNT won't hurt you. It'll just be three blocks of fire, and the fire will destroy the dirt. And you have to try to get to your opponent and blow them up with the TNT. And if you win you can get a reward and inside this mini game there also comes with some power ups that come from the dirt after it's exploded all right so let's go ahead and get started the first thing that you want to do is drop this plugin inside of your plugins folder restart your server and once your server is restarted just head into the config of the plugin inside the folder of the plugin so go in the bomberman folder and you should see the config.yml this is what it looks like so the prize you can type the type of prize here which is the item name and then the amount so they get three diamonds for winning the lives that they'll have when playing the minigame bombs the amount of bombs that the players start with the amount of power that the players start with bomb material so you can have tnt the power material which makes the bombs bigger so you'll have three of those potion duration the minimum amount of players which is two you probably want to leave it like that auto start so once you have two players there'll be a 30 second delay before it auto starts the arena you don't have to worry about that drops so basically these are the power-ups that I was talking about these come out of the dirt once the dirt explodes so when you're trying to clear your path there's a possibility that these power-ups might drop like I said the blaze powder which is power will make the bombs bigger uh, I think this is swiftness and there's some other stuff and then the chance that these will drop so 0.10 percent which is pretty low but it's good so the blocks yeah you don't really have to worry about that timeout sudden death game over protection up to you and yeah, I think that's about it. So just save your settings and then head back onto Minecraft and we'll set this up. All right, guys. So the really cool thing about this plugin is with one command, it will just create the arena for you. So you don't have to create the arena, but I'll also show you how to create the arena. So if you want to just have the arena create itself, which is pretty simple, pretty easy, just type slash BM game create and then the name of the arena that you want to call it. So I'm just going to call mine tutorial and it will create itself somewhere. Yeah, right here. Okay. So this is what the arena looks like and you might want to have this on the floor so your players can just walk up to this and watch the game itself happen. So this is what it looks like and that's all the dirt that I was talking about and they have to clear the path and try to get to the other opponent on the other side. So it's almost like a maze also and the players are in there and they start from the wool. So the wool are the spawn points of this arena, they're on both sides. They're on all corners, and when you create your arena, you can set the wool at any points where you want it. And yeah, that's what it looks like. So we already have our arena now, and we can just type slash BM game join and then the name of the game. So called my tutorial. And then there we go, we are in now. So really, we'd have to wait for one more player to start the game and hear the power ups and hear the TNT. So pretty cool, and we have to make our way around. We can't move until the other players have joined. And then another cool thing are the hearts right there that shows how many lives you have. All right guys, if you wanna create your own custom arena, you can get really creative. This is kind of simple, but what you wanna do is just you wanna make sure you have some dirt, use some type of block as a divider, and then use wool as spawn points. So I have this, these two spawn points here, and so that's the max only two players can play in this arena and then once you have the wool and everything that you want just look at your arena and then type the command slash bm arena create and then type the name of this arena so i'm just going to call this glass box and just hit enter so there we go it's been created or it's being created now it's created all right so your arena is pretty much done and all set up now the cool thing about this is that since that arena is saved and you can create a new game with the same arena. So you just have to remember your arena name and if you want to create the same game you just type slash BM game create and then type the name of this game. So I'm going to call this glass box because that's the name of my arena and then here's where we type our arena name. So glass box again. And it should have been created. I think I'm stuck in it. And yeah, there we go. So that's our arena. So you can name your game name whatever you want. I just kind of wanted to keep it the same, but you can name it Bomberman or something like that. But yeah, that's basically how you like copy the arena and just use it again. So when your players do this, then they can type slash BM game join and then the name of the game, not the arena. So glass box. There we go. So that's really it for this plugin, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, make sure to drop a like. It really helps me out. And subscribe for more. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.